calculations isn't that difficult. I can say that now, <laughs> after the plan itself, children, I have about 25 calculation errors, question digoxin sort of question. Make sure you've answered what the question is asking. I will go through a few if infusion questions, guys. So I said for the basics, I use this book as well as other than attempt, guys. <laughs> Shout out to me. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ambi C. Evan. I hope you've gotten the chance to go through the three videos for pre-reg health and whatnot and also the pharmacy interview videos. Um, like some of you might know or may know, I filled my pre-reg exam two times. I speak about or I spoke about the whole process in my other video if you haven't gotten a chance at the end of this video you'll see loads of links here and there trying to help you or sort of guide guiding you to navigate through those those videos also a playlist so maybe after this one you can go through them i'm very sure you'll find it very helpful so make sure you check it out don't forget to subscribe leave a like share and whatnot but anyway so today i'll be talking about the gpc calculations paper that's actually the afternoon paper because the first paper the morning paper contains calculations and bits and bobs but the second one is heavily on just calculations to be honest so that's the afternoon paper i printed out just the section for the gbhc framework that talks about the um, aspects that would be involved so from here you have those and those regimen estimated ki kidney function dosage and unit conversions displacement volumes and values concentrations dilutions molecular weights using provided formula infusion rates pharmacokinetics health economics quantities to supply i'll try my best to give you include in this video a question for each segment to sort of give you an idea of what they could ask for the segments and whatnot as you all know it's going to be resource parks sort of it's going to be mixed with resource packs i would also say that try to make the questions be afraid of you if that makes sense i understand it's very easy to, to be taken aback or to be thrown off balance when you see questions that are like okay lots of wordings and whatnot but to be honest most of these questions or calculations follow similar patterns if you do mock papers if you go through the sample papers for GPHC understandably most of the GPHC sample papers may appear to be less tasking than what usually comes up especially for one of the um, one of the sittings I won't mention the sittings in this video and whatnot so I would say go over papers over and over again me on the other okay actually when I was studying for my calculations how I studied so I'll be going through that now how I studied I started from the basic because like I said I had failed my exam twice so the final attempt was going to be is was it for me to be honest so so this little piece was it the first time i was using it no it wasn't i used it for the first sitting did not pass it then because it um yeah then the second sitting as well i used it but i passed it in that one so i think for the third sitting it's more of a mix of everything you can get start from the basics then you go into the detailed nitty-gritty i did cbbe that was sent by barbara on his group um there was this also goes through the basics as well if you're really strong in calculations um would i advise you to just ignore the basic not really to be honest pharmaceutical calculations is not like a normal calculations so it's not something that you just dive into and whatnot for my for september exam september last year's exam 2019 um they were quite straightforward i know there were lots of um tableting questions there was the tds so single dose sort of questions and for those kind of questions i would say make sure you read through the 
questions completely before you dive into the sorry read read through the whole sentences then go through the question so the the acronym for that is you are a Q that's units rounding and question so the units um, once you finish solving that's it so once you finish solving you make sure that you have the units in check the rounding in check and what's the question actually asking make sure you've answered what the question is asking but yeah that was a mnemonic or acronym that I used to get me through some questions so to remind myself that there's actually a pattern to answering those questions mm -hmm. Another question um, that came up had to do with resource parks. Did we, did we have a lot? We didn't really have a lot. There was one that requested you to go through the resource park, then you find the dosing for a certain age and you plug it into or whatnot. I think this was the morning paper. So they can ask you different questions in relates to any one of them. Molecular weight, using provided formula, Using provided formula, I was touching that a bit as well. Um, it's really easy to forget some numbers to plug into a formula, if that makes sense. Example, let's say the red clearance, that's the one that comes to my head. And you have to fill in, in centimeters, in, so that's HW, W times H. And they give you in different, um, in a different SI unit, I think that's what's called. Um, and so you have to be careful to understand and to actually go through that instead of plugging in the numbers directly. I have about 25 calculation errors that I put together while preparing for my final attempt. Um, I would go through a few if you're interested in that. Drop me a message. It's part of the offer and whatnot. That's the help that I offer for my tutors. For tutoring and the tutorials I give. So basically, calculation errors that you could go over before the registration assessment. What did they ask? Um, then, if in doubt, write it out. If in doubt, write it out. There are some questions that you'll be tempted to do in your head because of time, but if you see yourself stuttering or slowing down, trying to do the working in your head, especially when it has to do, let's say, example. And you're trying to do it in your head you can't really work it out that's why you're allowed a calculator for the second paper so make sure you make use of it don't try to use your head then another one rule I wrote down as well is if in doubt draw it out if in doubt draw it out it has to do with especially for your dilution questions especially for the displacement volumes and values and whatnot that sort of question I like to draw it out it makes a visual presentation of what exactly you're asking so those sort of things little rules and um, what else so I said for the basics I use this book as well as CPPE calculations if I can find the link I'll drop it down below also another booklet I used that was sent to me was MCQ questions I understand the questions or the exams and um, MCQs but those questions really helped it's gives you much more like it opens you up to variety of questions from dosing to dilutions to infusions infusion questions guys um to using provided formula especially the digoxin sort of question digoxin sort of question theophylline theophylline emphasis on theophylline um because that question has come up before um, theophylline or theophylline, whatever. I also used um, that registration assessment questions. As, so there's this new question that popped up a bit in mocks and I think also the assessment um, for one of the papers. So I had um, that had to do with Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease, and an example of that question is in the registration assessment question by Nadia, um, Nadia Bukhari, I'm hoping I'm not spoiling her name, that's why I'm going slow, Barber as well as some other writers as well. I use that book, which really helps, I use the online version of it. So this is the only paper copy of the book, of one of the books I used. 
rest of it was online, was shared on the group, WhatsApp group. Talking of WhatsApp group and providers, I made a video concerning that, so don't forget to check it out. I also use this workbook. I think it's been going um, around, it's been cir circulating around a bit. This calculations workbook by Think Pro Farmates. Uh, there was another one online that's just online. Um, some of it is not obviously related to the Mark scheme, or sorry, the GPAC framework, but I would say make sure when studying that you refer to your GPAC framework. Like I said, doses and dose regimen, example of a question. Dosage and unit conversion. Estimations of kidney function. Example of the question is displacement volumes and values. Concentrations and dilutions. Using provided formula. Infusion rates. Pharmacokinetics, health economics, quantities to supply. Quantities to supply, I'll just touch on that briefly. Sometimes the question might ask you calculate what is old. If you're the kind of person that you just rush and assume that this is what you're asking yeah another point is do not assume what they're asking make sure that you're answering what they're asking for quantity supply it's very easy to resume that they're asking you for the whole quantity well after you solve the whole quantity go to the question and ask how much is being owed to the patient because they like asking that a lot don't forget calculations is not that easy it's not that sorry it's not that hard and um, you can make it work for you they're obviously the very easy mock papers and very tough papers when it comes to mock papers or calculations i'll say if you can go over tough questions after you go through the basics go through the chunky questions after you go through the basics over and over again the questions that appear to be scary which was my issue for my september first my first sitting in september 20 2016 I saw questions that I did not prepare for so I assume that obviously that's going to be straightforward and whatnot but there were really chunky questions and that sort of threw me off so get used to reading lots of wordings try to understand the questions and know the numbers that are not needed I would hopefully put an example of a question with which includes a number of numbers that are not needed just to throw you off and whatnot so yeah Happy studying. Calculations isn't that difficult. I can say that now. <laughs> After the third attempt, guys. <laughs> Ciao. We made it. But anyways, all the best. There's a few months now to the GPAC exams. For the first morning paper, actually, they give straightforward calculations questions, something that you can do within a few minutes straightforward it has to do with you understanding and trying to quickly calculate it without a calculator as you know it and whatnot but anyway this video is coming too long but i hope it makes sense and you've been able to pick out one or two details from it thank you so much for watching guys um i'll be doing a proper vlog posting a vlog video on how i studied um in detail so go showing you my notes for calculations not every single page obviously because i'll just be dragging the booklets i use and other things as well i didn't really mention everything i use and how i found it and how helpful it was but i will definitely go into it especially for the third attempt or the second attempt is you're feeling really scared you're feeling really down i have been there and we made it through so i'm there to help leave me a message drop me an email drop me a message on my blog the link is down below but thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe and share and comment make sure you share with people that might need it if you don't need it thank you so much for watching guys until next time because there will be next time take, take care guys <laughs>